The Oregon Health Authority has released reports on breakthrough COVID-19, that is, cases of COVID-19 in persons who have been completely vaccinated. It's reasonable to wonder why, if the vaccine is working, are some vaccinated people getting sick? Unless a vaccine is 100% effective, as long as a virus is circulating, some vaccinated people will get it. And the more vaccinated people there are, the more who could get a breakthrough case. Let's take a look at how the math works, even when the vaccine is working. Let's assume that the risk of infection among unvaccinated people is 80%. That is, 80% of people who are not vaccinated will eventually get COVID-19. Let's further assume that the vaccine is 90% effective. This means that it reduces by 90% the chance that a vaccinated person will get COVID-19. If the risk without a vaccine is 80% and the vaccine can prevent 90% of those cases, then the risk in vaccinated people is going to be about 8%. Now let's look at a population of say 1,000 people. If 0% of this population is vaccinated, then there are no vaccinated people, and so there are no infected vaccinated people. All 1,000 people will be unvaccinated, and each of them will have an 80% risk of getting infected. So that's 800 infected persons. The total number of infected people at a vaccination rate of zero is going to be 800, and none of them will have been among vaccinated people because no one is vaccinated. What if the vaccination rate is 10% among the population? 100 people will have been vaccinated, each with an 8% chance of infection, so eight of them will get infected despite having been vaccinated. There will be 900 unvaccinated people, 80% of whom will be infected. That's 720. So the total number of infected people will be 728 of which eight will have been vaccinated, or 1.1%. Let's go to a vaccination rate of 50%. 500 people will be vaccinated, and we expect that 40 of them, 8%, will get infected. 500 people will be unvaccinated. Of them, 80%, or 400, will be infected. Now we have 440 people infected, of which 40 will have been vaccinated, or 9.1%. With 90% of the population vaccinated, we have 900 people vaccinated, 72 of them get infected. 100 people unvaccinated, 80 of them infected, and a total of 152 people infected, of which 72 or 47% will have been vaccinated. At a 95% vaccination rate, 76 out of 116 infected people will have been vaccinated, so 66% of cases will be in vaccinated people. And of course, if everyone is vaccinated, any case that occurs will be a breakthrough case in a vaccinated person. The important thing is that the overall number of infected people goes down as the vaccination rate increases. We went from 800 infected people with zero vaccination to 80 infected people at 100% vaccination. In other words, by vaccinating everyone, we prevented 90% of the cases that would otherwise have occurred, which is exactly what we were trying to do. These figures are perhaps better shown on this graph, where the cases among the vaccinated are shown in the blue bars and the cases among the unvaccinated in the orange bars. You can see that with the vaccination rate in the population increasing from zero to 100%, the overall case counts are dropping but the number and proportion of cases that are occurring among vaccinated people will be rising. So if someone asks you, how come we're seeing more cases among vaccinated people? You can tell them that it reflects not a failure of the vaccine, but that we have more vaccinated people.